everyone. It's me, Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be recreating Lupita Nyong'o, make her makeup from the Oscars. I apologize right now if I butchered her name. I am so sorry. I did my best. I've been practicing now for almost five minutes. So on top of that, my eyes have been watering like no other. I somehow got some sunscreen in them. I am going to recreate her makeup and here is a picture right here. It's gorgeous. She is stunning. Now, it's not going to look nearly as beautiful on her because with her complexion, it just pops. Everything pops. So, I will do my best to recreate it and live up to her beauty. Wish me luck. So, as usual, I went off camera and I did one eye. However, my eye is still watering, so I'm just going to let it, you know, do its thing while we do the other eye. And while I was researching this makeup look, uh, her makeup artist did go out on, I believe, Lancome's website, because that's mostly what they used was Lancome, and said what he did with her eyes. However, he says brown. I see more purple. So I am going to mix two palettes, and I have the e.l.f. Bite Size in Cream and Sugar, where I'm just going to use this dark brown, and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Petalette, and I'm going to mix it with this purple. So I am I feel like I got very close to the shade that he was using, and if you disagree, let me know down below. That's fine, too. So the first thing he started out with was he said a dark brown in the crease. So I'm just going to use the dark brown that is in the e.l.f. palette. And I'm just going to put that in the crease and just start to define it and blend that out. I did prime my eyelids with the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. It's one of my favorites. I just forgot to press record. <laughs> so I have that on. And I'm just blending this out. And then this is where I start to make the brownish purple. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth between the brown and the purple until I get close to the look that I'm going for. And I'm just going to keep adding it on until I get the, the desired look. And I'm going to do that on the inner and the outer corner. All right, I feel like I got the color that I wanted. Uh, I'm just gonna use the same first brush. I didn't put anything else on it. Just kind of blend a little bit. I'm just gonna use a little bit of concealer on the lid just to give myself more of a base. And that way it doesn't get all muddled, the gold. Because I want the gold to pop. The main characteristic of the makeup is that bright gold in the center. I mean, her look is just stunning. So I'm going to go back into the cream and sugar palette and just use this gold. I am going to spray that with my Maybelline Lasting Fix. And just put that right where I put the concealer. And just blend, blend, blend. I'm going to use a little bit more of the gold and just get the center. And then the next step he said is that he used a liquid liner and just a little wing. So I'm going to try and match them up. Wish me luck. I am using the House Labs.
I know I look a little bit different right now, but the only thing I added was highlighter. And the reason you didn't see that is because once again, I forgot to press record. So all I did was I used a nice little brush applied it to the cheekbone, a little bit above the brow bone. I did put it on the brow bone itself. I used my finger and put it down the bridge of my nose with a little dot on the tip and then on the Cupid's bow. So that was it. Now, as far as lips go, this is another main feature of the look. The makeup artist used a red on her lips. However, it looks more of like a muted pinkish red nude color. So that's what I'm shooting for. It's not the exact same shade that he used, more so the look on her skin or on her lips is what I want. So I'm going to start off using my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in London. You can tell it's one of my favorites. And I'm just going to line the lips. And I did take off my gloss that I had on before. Now I'm going to go in with Milani's, um, I cannot remember the name of the actual lipstick but the color is Pleasure. So I'm just gonna put that on. This just has a nice pinkish nude undertone. It's so gorgeous. Now again, this is not the color that she used. I'm mixing a bunch of things to get the look of what she's wearing, but not the actual lipstick, if that makes sense. I hope this makes sense. I'm going to top that with Lustful, again by Milani. I love this one. I personally think that this is the same look on her. All right, so I think that this is the look that she was wearing for the Oscars. And I love it. I really, really like the way that it came out. Also, they didn't do anything under the eyes. They didn't even do mascara. They just left it bare from what I can see in pictures. I mean, it looks way more beautiful on her. It does. I'm not going to lie. I tried to recreate it. I think I got similar, you know, a little bit close, but she's stunning. Like I'm looking at pictures right now and she is absolutely beautiful. So I tried to recreate it. I used all drugstore makeup and I think, like I said, I think I got pretty close. So let me know down below what you think. All the items I use today will be listed down in the description bar. I hope you have a lovely week wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.